Hello, my Zion Kings and Queens. How is everyone doing? I hope you're fine. I hope you're good. So, I'm going to be shopping, right? I came to pick up. No, I didn't even come. Nobody say I just. I just came to pick up just one stuff. But I ended up buying. Hey! I ended up buying a Ligue because when you get into the store, there is a story I want to tell you guys, okay? There is a story and I want us to rub minds together. Um, so, I came to buy one item, but when you get into the store now, trust me, everything will be calling you. Madam, you don't have this in the house. Madam, you don't have that in the house. Madam, you don't... So, I had to start... Um, Speaking. Um, but anyways, let us rub minds together. And I want you guys, eh? I want you guys to tell me your honest, honest, honest opinion. Tell me your honest opinion. Don't even sugarcoat it. Because again, you cannot know all much. Let me see oh, whether this this advice I gave to this lady. I don't know if I don't miss Yan or I actually I am in line. So this lady called me and she was fuming. She was very, very angry, and um, you know, her annoyance was, ah, kids, what did I say? What did I do wrong? What did I, am I supposed to just jump in and just, you know, take action? And this was what happened, right? She said her uncle, her uncle called her from Nigeria, uh, from home. And her uncle told her, you know, she knew that the wife was um, pregnant anyways. Uh, but that was not their first. It wasn't like it was their first. I think that is about their, either their fourth or their fifth child. Okay. I, I, I mean, I stand to be corrected, but it's between fourth and fifth child. Okay. So she said, um, about two months ago, okay, the uncle had called, um, you know, telling her that um, the wife was expecting and that, um, you know, it's just been, um, she's, they were just, um, you know at a crossroad right now financially and that uh, she wanted um she wanted um he wanted her i'm sorry he wanted her to help them out you know with some money okay and um you know she said um how much were they looking at because he said he wanted to get some things for the baby just to prepare for the baby's um um arrival so he now she now said that how much were they looking looking at he mentioned the amount and she said just to be on the safe side. She had sent them a little, a, a little over the amount the guy had requested. Because of course, at that time, him, she said she had like a little change to spare. So she sent the man, um, the uncle, a little over, um, a little over the amount that um, they, they, they had requested. Okay, so now fast forward. Two months later, all right, two months later, they had a baby, successful, beautiful. The uncle called her and told her, ah, my wife has given birth to, my wife just gave birth. And in excitement, she said, oh, Tango, though, you know, you know, all those uh, exchange of uh, good news and the excitement, congratulations. So how are they doing? They are fine. Blah, blah, blah. They are fine. And she said, congratulations. When I have time, you know, when my next off, I will call to, um, to speak with um, the mother. The uncle now asked her if that was all she was going to say. He said, now only that one you go talk. Don't you know what comes with, um, don't you know what comes with, um, the delivery of a baby? And she said, at first, she didn't hear it well. She now said, uncle, what do you mean? I told you, told me your wife gave birth. And I told you that, um, is it that you wanted me to call immediately? Okay, I won't be able to call immediately to congratulate her but on my day of i think it's a day or two that she was going to call the uncle say uh uh now wow well, you know sometimes you people will be making somebody look like a child and eh? you'll be making do i have to open my mouth and say everything again don't you know that you know you know now um you know you know what comes with a uh, with a uh, child delivery that, you know, as he's talking right now, they don't even know where food will come from for the baby. And he said, she said, to be honest with you, Kate, I, 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 I blew up and I didn't hold back. You know, 
she said i let it i was so furious i let it out i didn't i didn't you know and she was like this is not even um this is not even um this is not to say that i've not been sending money to this my uncle i'm just telling you that i sent money two months ago as per the pregnancy um you know um story but i've been sending money and then my uncle is going to make it look like i am the one that you know let me give the wife belly you know getting all out on me and i told her i said look see eh, do you whatever you are led to do tell him congratulations and that if you have anything to give more to the baby you know that is going to be on your discretion that is not going to be him forcing you to do anything because if they are waiting for you eh? if they had that pregnancy if the wife got pregnant based on the fact that you know somebody is a uh, somebody is a uh, somebody is in uh, is in their abroad or somebody one uncle somewhere whether it's even abroad or not that one uncle somewhere is going to help me then that is a wrong impression that is a wrong to prepare for a, the delivery of a baby and pregnancy is not control two it takes nine months for a baby to be delivered so he had nine months to prepare for this baby so he cannot come and be acting like and see this is not just being insensitive i told her this is not being insensitive however you feel it is justified if you went all out on him yeah well later you can apologize but however you feel for somebody to be telling you that as if you are part of holding the lamp for him make it give him wife belly is not right is not right and i told her i said no you know just do you whatever is if you have money to send send to them if you don't have to do not feel bad because you have done the one you can don't feel bad and he will be all right he will yes i told her i used to be like that i am this kind of person that if you ask me for something and and i'm not able to do it i i just start feeling so bad and i will carry this guilt oh why am i not so bad i had to work on myself somebody actually taught me how to work on myself even if you have it and you don't want to give it's okay it's okay it's your money is your sweat you have to be see there is blessing in cheerful giving that is why the bible talks about cheerful giving grumbling to give is not at it will not attract any blessing so i told her i said you have to be at a place where you can cheerfully give if people are forcing you like this your uncle is there is no blessing in it and it's not like you've not been there for them before you've been there for them before but there are times that you just give foolishly there are times you just give you know for the sake you know you just give because you don't want people to categorize you as a bad person okay look at this scenario now she has been giving you know, this one that she said okay she just said okay the uncle is already feeling somehow you see you see so i told her i said no even if you have it and you don't feel led to give at that time don't do it don't feel bad because you have to be again as a, at a good place to give cheerful giving so yeah i, I told her you didn't do anything wrong you didn't do anything bad the person that is uh, you know the person that is expectant of a baby should know that he needs to prepare they need to prepare not that uh, it will get to you know hey ozubo ozubo hey emergency oh let us just you know but again let me know what you think at the comment section i really want to hear your thoughts on this because sometimes you just be like oh you are done you are being mean you you will give 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 your blood out the day you don't even have water to give people will still see it as um, oh no uh, you've not done enough you can never do enough when it comes to human being so do what is comfortable for you do what is comfortable for you all do what is comfortable for you anyways let me continue i'll see you in my next video love you bye let me